Welcome to QLM Business News. And now for today's news stories. Solo struggles. The challenge of buying a first home alone. The dream of owning a first home remains elusive for many, but for solo buyers, the journey is even more arduous. A recent report by the Building Societies Association, BSA, highlights the increasing necessity of dual incomes to meet mortgage repayments, painting a bleak picture for first-time buyers facing the toughest conditions in 70 years. Meet Jess Waring Hughes, a 32-year-old business manager, who finds herself relentlessly saving in pursuit of home ownership with little support in her solo endeavor. Her solution? Moving back in with her parents to bolster her savings, a scenario familiar to many in what is dubbed the boomerang generation. Jess reflects on the peculiar sensation of returning to her childhood abode, navigating the delicate balance between independence and regression to teenage norms. However, she is not alone in her predicament. Lisa Griggs, also 32 and working full-time, echoes Jess's sentiments of frustration despite living within her means and paying rent to her parents. The BSA underscores the deepening reliance on the bank of mum and dad, with parental assistance becoming increasingly common in funding hefty deposits for their adult children. Shockingly, half of first-time buyers in their 20s receive an average of £25,000 from their parents, according to the Resolution Foundation. Jess and Lisa, grateful for familial support, meticulously draft savings plans and navigate financial spreadsheets in their quest for home ownership. However, the harsh reality depicted by these spreadsheets paints a grim picture. Stagnant wage growth juxtaposed against soaring house prices and exorbitant rents, exacerbating the challenges faced by solo buyers. Moreover, fluctuations in mortgage rates over the past 20 months have introduced unprecedented volatility to the housing market, further compounding the woes of prospective homeowners. Two-year fixed deals, once offering interest rates below 2%, skyrocketed to an average of 6.86% last year, according to Moneyfacts. This turbulent landscape begs the question. How can the property market be revitalized for first-time buyers? Jess advocates for evaluating an individual's rental history in mortgage applications, while Lisa calls for increased flexibility. The BSA advocates for radical reforms, proposing relaxed lending regulations to accommodate buyers unable to afford substantial deposits. However, such propositions are not without controversy, given the regulatory tightening post-2007-08 financial crisis. Despite differing perspectives, one thing remains clear. The path to home ownership for solo buyers is fraught with obstacles, challenging the notion that it is not that difficult to enter the housing ladder, as suggested by some. In the face of these daunting hurdles, solo buyers like Jess and Lisa persevere, embodying resilience amidst adversity. As the quest for affordable housing intensifies, the call for innovative solutions and inclusive policies grows louder, underscoring the imperative of ensuring that home ownership remains within reach for all aspiring buyers regardless of their marital status. This news story is brought to you by QLM Business News, your digital media channel. Visit qlmbusinessnews.com for more business news stories. Also follow us on Facebook, X and YouTube. To help QLM Business News bring you more news stories like this, please like, share and subscribe.